number 13 looks to be a pretty long one <clears throat> so we have basically two foil problems and then we're going to add like terms so 7a plus 2 times a minus 5 plus parentheses a minus 4 and a minus 4 okay so we're going to distribute so we get 7a squared and then um, negative 35 we'll multiply 7 and negative 5 negative 35a plus 2a minus 10 now it says to add this one so we don't have to change signs I'm just going to line everything up and combine like terms here um, so a times a will give us a squared a times negative 4 minus 4a negative 4 times a another minus 4a and then negative 4 times negative 4 positive 16 okay I'm gonna add these two up so we'll get 8a squared we got 7 plus 1 alright so this will give us negative 33 because you subtract negative 33 minus 4 will give you a negative 37 minus 4 will give you a negative 41 so we get minus 41a okay just by combining all of these like terms here all of them just have a single a so basically all of these are negative you add them up and then subtract that two off alright and then here we'll get a positive 6 so our final answer we have 8a squared minus 41a plus 6 alright 14 we got an application <coughs> So, graphic artists <clears throat> designing a poster to advertise for an upcoming event. Only restrictions regarding the poster size is that it must have a length of 8x inches and a width of 3x plus 3. Uh, find a simplified expression for the area. So, they want you to simplify the expression. So, here's what they're telling you length, this side is 8x, the width is 3x plus 3 to find area you do length times width so you want to say area equals 8x times the 3x plus 3 so they want you to be able to kind of set this up and then distribute 8 times 3 is 24 you get 24 1 plus 1 gives you x squared and then 8 times 3 gives you positive 24x okay so 24x squared plus 24 plus 24x all right and number 15 our last one we got another application <clears throat> so we got uh, Theodore and Sarah have small business selling custom t-shirts they say 210 per month charge ten dollars per shirt Sarah thinks they can increase revenue by <clears throat> increasing their selling price uh, knows Theodore from experience that each one dollar increase will decrease the number of t-shirts they sell uh, by nine per month find an expression for the total monthly revenue Theodore and Sarah's business can generate if they change their selling price of the t-shirts let X be the number of one dollar increases in the t-shirt so we want a revenue <clears throat> so they currently sell 210 per month and charge uh, 10 per shirt 
So what their revenue is is two ten. times ten dollars this is what they do per month so this will give us two thousand one hundred selling shirts <clears throat> it says um, if they increase they will decrease the number of shirts they sell by nine per month so <clears throat> If so, let me go back. So right now they're selling uh, at ten. So we're gonna have two hundred and ten shirts. If we increase by a dollar, so we got these two quantities that we're multiplying. If I let this go, ten plus X we're gonna say X is the number of dollars that's also going to subtract 9 X from here okay. so any one dollar increase will make this 11 it's going to take away nine shirts because one times nine so this is the expression that we need so we're gonna lose nine shirts but we're gonna increase the cost by a dollar so here's the expression for monthly revenue we're gonna foil and multiply these two together so part of it, the 210 times 10, that's the 2100 part that we saw at first. So 2100 and then 210 times X, positive 210X, negative 9X times 10, it was a negative 90X, and then negative 9X times x will give us negative 9x squared okay we're going to combine these two in the middle so that will give us 120 so we have 21 plus 120x minus 9x squared okay. so this is the expression that we need that will represent the revenue based on increasing the shirt cost. 120x minus 9x squared. Okay, I wrote minus plus. Okay, look like a minus, but it's a plus. All right.